So now the tricky part is over basically and I will move on to the water cooler and first check how it has to be positioned to fit the case nicely and then I attach this part of the water cooler that goes on top of the CPU and tighten it up with the screw. quite interesting to learn about this. I also didn't know that PC parts have all these indications on them, which is pretty nice for someone who is not that experienced with PC building yet, but you do need some good eyes to see them though. I already felt like a large part of the PC building is just tightening screws. pretty satisfying to do, in my opinion. Moving on to the second fan. Now I put the motherboard in the right position of the case. It pretty much fell right into place and sort of screws. Good thing my hands got less 
So put the water cooler in place and made sure that it was in the best looking position and tightened it up with the screws and it's slowly coming together now. The back is still a mess full of cables though. front of the case because I don't really need to do anything there anymore. I could just click this in and tighten the screws by hand. Then I place the other fan that goes in the back of the case and yeah, you can guess I tightened this with screws. Now I'm placing this SSD in the case and tightening it up. This is my old SSD that I wanted to keep because it's still pretty good. edit the power cable and put it in place on the inside of the case. This will be nicely hidden from the eye. And here my kind assistant is explaining how and where I need to plug all the power cables to hide them as best as possible. We also checked if my graphics card would actually fit the case. This was, um, of course, measured beforehand, but it all looked so cramped up that my assistant <laughs> was worried for a second and my heart actually skipped a beat for a moment here because I was almost scared that it wouldn't fit. But good thing they were messing around with me a bit and it would all be fine. I've let my amazing assistant do the worst part for me, which is the cable management. This case is a bit of a tricky case when it comes to cable management because the, um, the amount of space that you have for it is quite limited. But I think that he did a great job in hiding as well as possible with this case. I honestly wouldn't be able to do a better job, I think. Now it's time for the most exciting part, the GPU. But first, some very satisfying plastic removals. I love removing plastic from new products so much. The other people around here had to laugh a bit because I really wanted to take my moment and enjoy pulling off these plastics. Good thing the cameraman agreed with me and took some great shots. There's also a plastic on this part of the water cooler and on my power supply. I'm placing the power supply in the case now. It kind of clicks into the right position and after that I can just screw it in place. Now I'm removing the metal PCI slot covers to make place for where the graphics card will go. And then, the exciting part, putting the GPU in place. It was so heavy and I was so scared to break it or that it would bend because of the weight or that it wouldn't fit my case at all, but it went pretty smoothly.
showed me how to 